Hey guys, it's Nick here, and today we're going to be playing Clash Royale. Today we're going to be playing this uh, Minor Cycle Balloon deck with Magic Archer. So let's see how this deck fares on ladder. So let's play a couple battles to see how the deck works, if it's good. So good luck to this guy, Trap House from Goodfellas. I have a decent starting here. I'm going to start an Ice Spirit off the... As my first play, to cycle a little bit and get some chip damage. So I'm going to start an Ice Golem in the back. He's not going to play anything right now, so I'm just going to cycle an Ice Golem in. He has a Witch, so I'm most likely going to play a Magic Archer in the back to take care of the Witch and whatever troops he wants to play. I'm just going to play an Electro Wizard right there. Actually, I think that tornado. Yeah, I'm going to tornado that Witch. And that princess together so the magic arch can take it out, but unfortunately it didn't take out that well. So now I'm gonna send a minor electro wizard to take care of those elite barbarians and that Valkyrie. And the magic arch is gonna help on that right side. So decent start. We're, we're probably down quite a bit of elixir, but at least we didn't take too too much damage. That Valkyrie got some damage, but that's okay. Now the magic arch is getting some damage off. And I wanna zap that skeleton army, but I won't so I can save some elixir. Unfortunately, I don't have Miner in Cycle because I used it again for the Lily Barbarians. But I'm going to send in a Balloon. He's going to send that out. So I'm going to send an Electro Wizard to defend it. He's going to send his own Balloon. Okay. But I'm actually going to Tornado his Balloon away from my tower. And my Balloon is going to connect on his tower. So that's good. My Balloon is going to take out his tower. And actually, I'm going to send him... Oh, almost take out his tower. I'm actually going to send a Miner to take out his Princess. And his Balloon again didn't get any death damage on my tower so we're looking good right now we're up on damage elixir i feel that we we even now a little bit and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna play an ice spirit and a magic archer left lane to take care of that valkyrie because i want to keep my ice golem for his elite barbarians whenever he plays them so there we go what's he gonna play there is a elite barbarian so i'll play an ice golem and electro wizard and i'm just gonna I'm gonna send a minor, but do I need it on defense? No, we're looking okay. I'm gonna send a minor balloon in that right side. And I'm gonna send a magic archer on defense with an ice golem. Uh, sorry, with an ice spear. I'm gonna tornado that balloon and that witch to give my magic archer some value right there. I'm gonna add electro wizard on defense. That balloon might get that death damage. It will. Okay, so then we take our tarot. And then I'll send a minor on his princess. So he should, there we go, yeah. He's gonna go with his elite barbarians and his Valkyrie. We have our magic archer and we're gonna tornado everything back. And that should be his push taken care of right there. Then we're gonna go with a balloon, a minor. And we're gonna zap his skeletons. Oh, okay, that was good actually. We took out his princess. The balloon's gonna get on the tower. We're gonna tornado his witch away. Ah, uh, I didn't get as many shots as I, as I would have liked it to. It's going very aggressive right there with that balloon. I'm not really sure. I'm actually gonna zap his balloon so it doesn't take out the tower. Has some solid defense though. Magic archer right there. Oh, nice. We're still in this. He doesn't have anything to take out our tower though, which is great. We haven't taken his tower, but he hasn't taken ours out either. This should be very close. So I'm actually going to tornado the way. We should be able to take that out right there. Is that miner going to be able to take it out? That's a good game right there. A very close game with 42 HP on our tower. But we, we were, we were the better play right there. Even though he BM'd us, that's okay. We took the win right there. We'll open our crown chest up right there. And we'll get into a one more battle to see how this deck is. It's pretty solid. Even though my cards are a little bit under level for ladder, but it's still working decently well. I know I have a loom level 6, but still. I've seen level 7 and level 8 balloons all the time. So we're Magic Archer. We don't really have an, a better play. He's actually going to play Hog Rider. So I'm going to play my Tornado and not miss it, thankfully, and activate his King Tower. There we go. He's, he's gonna go with that, so I'm gonna go very aggressive with an ice ball and a balloon. I'm not really sure why you'd want to rocket my magic archer. It's not really a positive trait, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go super aggressive and add a miner too. And the miners are actually gonna tank for the balloon, for the balloon, which is gonna be great. And that balloon is gonna get two hits on that tower, maybe even three. Three hits? Oh, that's juicy. You got three hits on the tower. That's awesome. So Ice Spirit opposite lane. And then we're gonna add a tornado and electro wizard to take out that knight and that hog rider right there. And we're looking great right now. We couldn't really be in a better spot. We have his tower practically down, and we have our king tower activated, and he's playing hog rider, and he's making horrible elixir trades. Why did he just log my electro wizard right there? I have no idea. Why did he rocket my magic archer at the beginning? I have no idea. He's really not making good positive elixir. He's not really a. Eh. He's sorry. He's not making good elixir trades right now. Is he back to hog? Wow, he's already back to hog. He has a pretty good cycle. I'm actually going to tornado his hog right all the way back right there. Mad the magic archer should be able to hit, hit it. So there we go. And now we're going to start going for that left lane now. Once we have enough elixir. I'm actually going to defend first. Now I'm going to send a miner because even though that tower is low, we don't have a heavy spell so we won't be able to take it out. He's going to play a knife so that's well played. Send a balloon in that right lane with an ice spirit. And then we'll play a magic drone defense. Why even send a miner in? Zato Skellies and that uh, executioner. Balloon got a shot off, which is great. I'm actually going to play an ice golem to tank for that executioner. I'm going to tornado his hog rider. Ah, I missed the hog rider, though, which is unfortunate. Missed the hog rider, but it's okay. Send the miner in to chip on that tower. He won't have enough elixir. Ah, oh, he actually did. Never mind. Is this is what I'm worried about. We have his tower down low, but we don't have a heavy spell to take it out, though. Tornado everything away. But we have a pretty quick cycle, so we're able to cycle back to miner fairly quickly. That's a very aggressive rocket, and I think that should be game if we can just zap those skeletons out. Nice. That's a good game right there. GG's. That was a close game right there. I was really worried because he was starting to catch up on damage. He's probably one more rocket away. And we weren't getting close to getting out of his tower. So there we go. That's game right there. We'll play one more. This deck is doing pretty darn well on ladder right now. It's doing pretty darn well. He's going to start with a princess off aggressive. So I'm just going to play Electro Wizard. A princess will get one shot off on the tower. Which isn't really a good play, honestly. I don't know why he would do that. Not really sure. I'm just gonna play an ice golem to tank those musketeer shots. Hopefully, I didn't play it too early. Yeah, I played it a little bit too early, which is definitely unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, I want to send a miner in, but then when I had the idea to do it, it was too late. Magic Archer is gonna get some shots off. Play the giant, which is a decent investment. I'm gonna play a. I want to zap that, but that's gonna be way too aggressive. Way, 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 way too aggressive because I have to defend against this giant, which of which I really don't feel confident of. He's actually going to play that. So I'm going to activate my king tower. Got Electro wizard right there. Yeah, it's going to help with that bowler. Not the best start. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do against this guy. Hmm. We're probably going to end up losing our tower. No, we're still over tower, but not the best start. Hmm. He has an Inferno Tower too, which is really annoying. Wow, a, le a level 4 Ice Wizard. Okay, then. Um, I think if I go with... He's going to have that, though. Tornado that. He's a fireball too. Electro Wizard on the Ice Wizard. I mean, there's nothing we could do on that right lane either way, so I'm not really sure why I did that. Probably just to take it out, but it won't change much. He's gonna go there, so I'm gonna play an Ice Golem. Magic Archer. Balloon. Miner on that Muskie. He's gonna play that though. 
We're gonna zap that Inferno Tower and the Ice Spirit's gonna go and freeze it too, which is great. Yeah, I'm not really... I don't think there's anything we could have really done here. Also, this guy has insane levels. What in the world? He has a level 7 bowler, level 10 giant, level 10 musky, level 4 ice wizard. I don't think there was really anything we could have done in this game. We'll try to defend, but that's a good game to him, honestly. <laughs> There's really not much we could have done. At least he's not going to be him because he knows he has very high level cards compared to us. At least with this deck. I mean, look at that. Level 12 zap, level 10 inferno tap. Fireball is the only thing that's under level, but the rest, man. We'll do one more. So good luck to this guy. Ivan, double end for SV clans. We're probably Slovakia. Good luck to him. He's going to start archers. I'm just going to start ice goal in the back. Very s passive start from both of us. What else is he going to play? Nothing. He's probably leaking a little bit of elixir. So I'm going to start ice. He's going to log that. Which is interesting. Not really sure why we want to do that. I know I'm leaking elixir right now, but it's because I wanted to fill my balloon at the most optimal time. And I'm going to zap his bats, and that's going to get taken out either way. So I'm just going to play a magic archer to defend against his knight. Archers aren't going to die, which is great. He has fireball, which is not good. He's at one shot. My magic archer, okay. What is, he's probably going to have hog or expo. From what I can see, or maybe even graveyard. Maybe even graveyard. So now we know his rotation though. He's gonna play knight, he's gonna have bats right now. So we're actually gonna go balloon miner in the left lane. Because he's pushing on the right lane right now and we don't want him to push that the same lane. He has Pekka, what in the world? Not gonna lie, pretty surprised he has Pekka. Magic Archer Magic Archer is gonna chip on that knight. Then we'll play an Ice Golem right there. And then we'll Tornado. Not too good. Nice. We'll take out those Archers though. We'll have to play a Defensive Miner against that P.E.K.K.A. And then we'll zap that P.E.K.K.A. on that bat. And we won't take any damage which is good. So we're down quite a bit of elixir, but he caught up on damage. So we didn't take too, too much damage. So we're okay. Okay, so he's gonna have archers again. He's gonna play that, which is aggressive. And I'm just gonna play, mm, that one again. Uh, those archers, I, wanted, I wasn't expecting that. Um, play a miner right there. He one shots that too. My God. Man. That's on that, the knight's on the tower, which is gonna deal quite a bit of damage. Right now I'm just going for the draw, honestly. If that's even possible. Minor Balloon Ice Spirit. Zap those bats. Balloon's gonna get a couple shots off. Okay, that brought us back in this game. Oh my god, if that takes it out. We somehow just won this game. Let's go. So there we go. Somehow we came back in this game. Open a silver chest. And then we'll open a crown chest. And then we'll donate to our plan. And there we go, guys. This is the deck. It's a very interesting deck. It has a couple legendaries. But as you can see, most of them are very under level. But we're still able to pull some wins off against some very hard matchups, especially Execution Tornado and even P.E.K.K.A. Archer Bats, which is very cool. So there you go, guys. There's the video. There's the deck. Feel free to copy it and use it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out.